What's going on guys? So today I went to the pet shop to get some crickets and I got these two guys right here. So we're gonna be setting them up into this video. All right, so first thing I wanna do is soak these two little guys. All right, and here they are, the two leopard tortoises. And as you guys know, I already have some older ones and I just wanted to get some more of these guys. They're a little bit dirty. Uh, they did come in this box all the way from the pet shop. So they were covered in poop. There's a little something on his mouth there. So I'm gonna change out this water and Make sure this guy's a little bit skinnier. He's a lot lighter than the other one. And I had actually gotten a different one, not this one at first. But when I got home and opened up the box, the tortoise was really underweight and it was really dehydrated. And it honestly looked like it wasn't gonna make it another day. So I went back to the pet shop and switched it off for this guy. I'm hoping that these two are healthy and that the other one was just um, not eating or something or dehydrated and it's nothing contagious. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep these guys anywhere near my current tortoises or any of my other animals uh, for at least a couple of months. I'm gonna keep them in an outdoor enclosure uh, where I used to keep the sulcatas and the concrete tubs, and then I'll move them up into a larger enclosure once they get a little bit bigger. All right, so now I'm gonna bring them outside so they could get some sunlight, and you can see that poop right there. Doesn't look like some healthy poop. So we're gonna put these guys in here. I don't usually buy animals from pet shops or anything, but uh, I couldn't find any other leopard tortoises that were a little bit bigger anywhere else, so I had to buy them from there. So look at that. that looks like bird poop, not tortoise poop. So hopefully these guys do good. Uh, the pet shop, you see that one? That one's a little bit better. That's a little more firm. Um, but these guys, uh, the pet shop said that they got them about a week ago from some breeders or something. I'm uh, not really sure where they get their animals, but you know, uh, hopefully these guys do well. We're gonna see. They don't look unhealthy so they should be good we're gonna see how they do i must set up their enclosure now and of course this guy escaped his enclosure again <clears throat> all right so here's the near enclosure we're gonna put some cypress mulch in there and there we go we got some cypress mulch in here it's a little humid right now and their hide and then i'm gonna put the screen over it so no animals could get to them so we're gonna set this up a little bit better now when we move them i think i might put them under there under the bird cage not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet all right and here they are I don't think they've drank any water yet they've been more focused on trying to get out and obviously this being a clear container they'll be trying to get out let me see this guy's head right here this one's the more shyer one his head's a little weird but there you go <laughs> look at his face how cute but yeah hopefully these guys do well we'll see Oh, they do this one he has a really long tail and obviously they're too young to sex but the tail is you can see very short tail and very long tail so we'll see maybe it's a male and female i prefer they were both females because they might be from the same clutch so we'll see how that goes in the future but let's put these guys back in their enclosure now and there you can really see how beautiful the pattern on this guy's show is and this one to be honest looks like the only one that's pr pretty much completely healthy this one has a little bit of a weird skin coloration i don't know if you guys could really see it through the camera but the head looks a little weird and the legs on the top look a little weird as well uh, i'm sure it's nothing but we'll see i'm gonna try to feed these guys although tortoises usually when they come right into their new enclosure they don't really eat right away so we'll see and look at that the first thing these guys did was hide you can see them right there this one's already coming out hopefully he goes for the food and as you can see these tortoises sometimes they need a little bit of time to adjust in their new enclosure uh these guys did come from a pet shop so i'm guessing they're gonna eat right away because you know it was local it wasn't shipped overnight or anything let's see i think he might actually go for it oh he looks like he likes it and <laughs> that guy's going for the old lead so yeah, these guys do look pretty good right now. That's awesome. I really like this, these species. Pretty much say that about every single species that I get because I like almost all, every single animal. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna leave these guys in the sun for a little bit, obviously not complete sunlight, but might leave them a little bit just so that they could get some natural UVB. These guys have probably been indoors their whole lives. I don't really know. Because I don't know the breeders, but there we go. Half sun and half shade. We'll put this over them so they, they could stay safe. And I know this looks a little like easy to push off, but this is how I've been keeping my sulcatas for the past two years, and no animals have ever 
uh, gotten into them, no rats, raccoons, nothing. So I'd even, even leave them like this overnight outdoors. So everything should be fine like this, but we'll see. Especially now, cause there's people working out here in my yard. So there shouldn't be any issues. And now to soak my other baby tortoises, this water comes out a little cold. So what I like to do is fill it up a little bit more than needed, leave it in the sun for a bit so it warms up and then I'll soak them. And there we go, that guy is eating. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him and see. He was eating some of the cactus. Oh, he's running away now. But he was definitely nibbling on it, which is the smaller one, which is great because I feel like that one was the one that worried me the most. But man, I'm really happy about these guys. Really cool. Next species that I need to get are some radiated. Probably won't be getting them for a while, but we'll see. Very cool. All right, now that I set up the leopard tortoises, I am soaking my own tortoises. And as you can see right there, that's what a, a good poop looks like. That's a healthy poop right there. So we're gonna clean that up obviously, cause we don't want any poop in here, but that's what it should look like, nice and firm. And it's not like bird poop. But look at this tortoise. I love this tortoise so much. Look at the, this is a red foot tortoise that I got uh, wholesale. I bought a bunch of them so that I could sell them. And look at this guy, I got so lucky to get him awesome i got him from a breeder friend of mine that i buy tortoises from and he looks amazing i'm gonna definitely be keeping this guy for sure so we're gonna see how he looks in the future i really want to see how those lines grow oh and by the way these two little baby redfoots that i have right here these guys just got out of the incubator and they were actually the tortoises or the eggs uh they came out of the eggs that got infected with maggots a couple weeks ago so so you can see the eggs are fine they're doing great hatching out uh, so far three of them hatched out. I already sent one of them to their new homes, which is a little bit older than these two uh, The other ones have not started hatching out yet. So we're gonna see how they, they progress in the future And here's a cherry head which I also got wholesale just with a bunch of redfoot tortoises that I ordered and the breeder said I could just take him Oh, I got some poop on my finger <laughs> So the guy just said I could take him because he only had one So he gave me them the same price as a redfoot not sure if I'm gonna be selling him or if I'm going to be keeping him just yet. So we'll see. I'm, I've just been lazy and haven't put him up for sale. But I might sell him as well. Because cherry heads I could get as adults if I ever want to start a group myself. And of course my little baby Sulcata tortoise. This guy. Uh, as you guys know. Well uh, I haven't uploaded the video yet. But it's going to be uploaded today. Uh, all the baby Sulcatas that hatched out. Um, I already shipped them out. This guy I actually got to hold back because the owner didn't get the lamps in because of amazon being delayed or i think they sent her a broken one or something i'm not sure but either way i got to keep this guy an extra week so that's great and this guy is gonna be shipped out tomorrow or not tomorrow on monday uh, a lot of them are already sold i'm just gonna be keeping probably the leopards haven't decided whether to keep them or not because as you can see they're small i kind of want to get larger ones like the ones i got there um but i really like this one because he's kind of yellow compared to other leopards you can see right here this one's really yellow oh no he flipped over he's really yellow and the other one is more brownish so i don't know i'm i'm debating it really like them but at the same time these guys are so baby and they barely grow they take forever to grow so we're gonna see the once they get to this this size right here that's when they really start growing uh usually they take about a year maybe two to get this big um but well maybe not not two years but like a, like six months to a year and a half to get this big and once they reach this size they start growing a lot faster than than its hatchling so we'll see the snapping turtle is the one that's been growing like crazy this guy's already like this big and i got him when he was like the size of a quarter and there we go all my babies are eating some hibiscus leaves and sorry about all that background noise as you can see they like to scream a lot but yeah they're doing great look at them and I like to keep their enclosures whenever I can, a little bit of in the sun, more shade than sun so that obviously they could get out of it. Uh, if you keep them under direct sunlight, 15 minutes, they're going to overheat and possibly die. So, oh, this guy right here could have overheated right there because this guy has problems walking uh, with his front legs. I'm stuck here. <clears throat> with his front legs, he has problems. So if I left that guy right there, he would have uh, not moved out of the way and he would have overheated. All right, so now I thought I'd show you a little bit of how I tame up my black stream monitor. These guys, they're really flighty. So hopefully this does not hit the phone. All right, so let's see if this guy wants to eat some crickets. 
So first thing I do, I just let them have a couple. So there, I just give him a few free ones so that he knows what's up. And I, of course he went to hide so that he, you guys can't see him meet. All right, now what I like to do, I put my hand out so he comes up to me. And there we go. You can see, that's what I like to do. Just let him get used to my hands so that he knows. And look at that tail, this tail, these guys could hold up their body weight with this tail. Oh, scared him a bit. Now, one more thing I like to do is just give him the crickets with my fingers. There we go. Now, I don't know if that's such a smart idea because I feel like he might uh, think that my fingers are uh, related to food. But at the same time, I don't think so because he's not that dumb. These animals are pretty smart. I think that he knows the difference between my fingers and the crickets. He's never bit me so far. Oh, that cricket just jumped out of the end. So, you know, I'm pretty confident feeding it to him with my hands. And he just grabbed the leg. So I'm hoping that in the future, obviously now he's a little bit smaller and he feels more threatened. He feels more threatened around me because he doesn't really know me too well. And he's more used to me. Let me see. And another bad thing is that I washed my hands before coming here since I was handling the tortoises. So my hand doesn't smell like me, it smells like soap. Look at him hanging upside down, I don't know if that really shows right there, but he's using his tail right now to hold himself up. Look at that, he's holding himself with his tail. Alright, so that's gonna be the last cricket. Alright, so that's gonna be the last cricket. All right, so that's gonna be the last cricket that I'm gonna feed him, uh, just so that I can feed him a little bit later. I don't feed him all at once. I feed him throughout the day a little bit. And uh, usually, I've been trying to feed him other bugs. The only things that he likes are the crickets and the dubia roaches. I feed him a little bit of ground beef every once in a while as well, just to fatten him, on, fatten, fatten him up a little bit more. Uh, these lizards, I know he looks skinny, but that's how they are. They're slender lizards, got long legs, and they're meant for climbing trees. They're very skinny and lightweight. And now to feed this little jealous boy right here. This guy gets so crazy over food that he does flips in the water. Let's see if I can feed him. <laughs> Look at him. Oh man, what do you what is this guy doing? Look at him. Flips over and everything. He gets too excited. There you go. What a bad angle, this rock is right in the way. I remember when I just got this guy, let's see if he wants to come out here. When I just got this guy, he was so tiny and now it's just been like a month and he's huge. All right, he's just not gonna come out. There he is, look at this. This thing is huge. I swear he was smaller yesterday. He is growing by the day, getting really chunky. He's a chunky boy. I do feed him a good amount of crickets, so maybe he's getting a little bit fat. But this guy is amazing. Look at him. Can't wait to have this guy in a big pond so that he could swim around and hunt fish and everything. Uh, by talking about fish, I don't really think that he eats any of the fish. I have a ton of fish here. And I never even see him trying to eat them. I also have this snail. All right, so there's the rhino iguana enclosure and now I'm gonna clean it up a little bit because it's a little bit dirty. Then I'm gonna change the substrate and put these guys in here. Now when I got this built, I asked them to make me a custom lamp thing so that I could put the lamps in here and I would have it flush with the enclosure and I would have to put it on top like this. Now 
is pretty much perfect timing so that I can put these guys in because they're asleep and they're going to be going too crazy. Look at those two little cuties in there. I woke them up by accident because I was moving the enclosure. So I'm going to just put these guys in here. I am going to get this high. I'm going to use it. I'm going to get it out of here. Because um, I don't like that they hide in there too much. already how much more comfortable they are with me that there's no hide in here because what happens with the hide is as soon as they well they let me get near them uh, but when I open this up they just run into the hide right away so now that they don't really have anywhere to go they're more comfortable and this guy actually even let me touch him earlier let me see if I could do it again the one the girl the this one's the girl right here she wasn't even moving when I was touching her she was chilling so you can see she doesn't really mind too much yeah, let me see them. Yeah, no, he he's a little more skittish, but he's very like he he loves to eat. He's very food driven. Look, let me see. He loves food. The girl didn't want to eat. She's just getting some some heat right now. But I am gonna put, give them a high, just not that one, because that one was a little too too um easy to for them to hide in. You see, this is completely round. They go all the way in there, and I can't reach them. So I'm gonna give them this one. So if I'm here or something, they could still hide. Watch out! Oh whoa whoa! He's going crazy now. I wanted to put it in the corner, but he's not letting me do that. So I just want to give him a little hide. They could go under it. And if I'm around here and I want to be around here, I could just take it out so that they see me and they get more comfortable with me. And they were both shedding, so that means they're growing pretty good. This one completely got all the shed off, but the female has a little bit of stuck shed on her tail right here. So I might have to give her a little soak later to get all that off. Look at him. He was just freaking out and now he's going again for the food. So I'm just going off by what the person that I got them from told me by sex. Uh, they told me that was the male, that was the female. And they got this guy from a breeder and that one from a pet shop. So we'll see. I'm, I am going to sex them. I'm just waiting for the probes to come in so that I could do that. And I'm also going to sex the Cuban rock iguanas that are outside. All right, so I wanted to update you guys on the baby leopards. It's already been 11 days, and these guys are doing amazing so far. This guy, they both have gained a good amount of weight. Right now, they're asleep. That's why their eyes look like that. Um, they're eating a lot, a lot of different things. I fed them a lot of romaine. That's what I fed them today. You see, they tore up the leaves, and I fed them a little late. That's why they didn't eat everything. But yeah, they both have gained a lot of weight, and they're doing great so far. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you. It's been 11 days. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but... They're doing all right and these are some larger redfoot tortoises that i bought just so that i could uh, resell them and you can see right there he's like what the heck why did you just wake me up and i have them in here right now because it was raining really heavily i had them in an enclosure behind the waterfall there so that they had a good amount of area a lot of weeds but they didn't have a hide they were hiding under bushes and it was a huge rainfall so i brought them in here since i only had two tortoises in here and they were pretty big and uh, the little um, guy with special needs right here. And this guy, by the way, he's doing amazing right now. Like, obviously, he's asleep right now. But I've seen that he's been walking around more often. I saw him walk from, from over here to the hide. And he actually keeps his eyes open more often now. So he's doing really good. Uh, still, he's not going to be for sale. I'll probably just keep this guy his whole life. Not sure. Because um, I've had him for since January 1st. That was the day he was born. And he was my first redfoot tortoise. So I may just keep him just since he was the first baby redfoot that I ever hatched out. And especially that he special needs. 
and here are the larger redfoot tortoises let me see because there are a few of these guys that i am going to be keeping so of course there's mine right here look at them really pretty show and these guys i don't know their siblings or not but they did come from the same breeder so these two well not these two aren't for sale because i already sold one so one of these is sold not sure which one but these i am going to be keeping for myself you can see they have a little bit of marbling let me see if i could show you a little bit better now you guys are going to be impressed by this weight look at that look how cool that is that's what marbling looks like uh these guys have a little bit and the crazy thing is that these are redfoot tortoises so this is more common in cherry heads i'm not sure if redfoots even carry it i'm thinking what happened is that these are mixed with cherry heads or the parents are mixed with cherry heads and they probably breeded and that's what happened but look at that right there that looks really cool and i am going to be keeping these guys to breed them in the future and i'm also probably going to be getting some high marbled cherry heads as well and then this one's mine uh that has the most so far that i've ever seen so i'm not sure how this one's going to grow throughout the years but i'm really looking forward to it all right so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are still here that's pretty crazy you stuck around for like 20 minutes i just finished editing the video and i was doing a quick little thumbnail look at r over there i can't zoom in because i'm using the front camera but she looks real cute um so i know it's been about a week almost a week it's gonna be six days when i upload this video uh since my last post so i've been slacking a little bit uh you guys may think that i've been slacking a little bit but in reality i haven't been posting because i've been working even harder um i got some pretty crazy things coming now um well i guess i'll just tell you guys because what's the point of like hyping stuff up um but i got a huge group of redfoot tortoises well not too huge but uh i'm when i combine them it's going to be a huge group and i'm basically building a giant closure for them i had to drive eight or nine hours i don't even remember exactly it was about it was 10 hours uh back and forth uh to pick up the redfoot tortoises and now i'm gonna be able to keep my group with uh or the group that i have in my house uh with five other redfoot tortoises and these are massive redfoot so you guys will see probably in the next video uh so that's why i haven't been uploading i also got the the rhino iguana enclosure uh so that i got it midway through the week and i had to edit everything so it takes a long time to uh to like set up all the videos and edit it and i've been completely busy haven't had any time for myself at all uh well i guess technically it is time for myself because you know this is what i like to do but uh yeah that's why i've been building enclosures the whole time and the little time that i'm not building enclosures i've been shipping out tortoises because i've also been uh selling a lot of them i'm actually sold out on pretty much everything and all i have right now are the two juvenile redfoot tortoises uh that i showed you guys in this video the larger one was the one that was sold by the way i just had i had forgot i had taken a picture of the one that was sold uh but i didn't mark it but now it's marked so i know which one it is so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you follow me on instagram at shadows reptiles and if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like if you didn't leave a comment leaving me some suggestions look at the carpet pythons how active they are right now and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already turn on post notifications and if you stuck around then you're a great follower you guys are truly the best subscribers that i have or you skip the video one or the other but either way love you guys thank you guys for watching my videos especially if you stayed this long that'll be crazy um and yeah I, that's why i put the little redfoot thing at the end because barely anybody's gonna be here so if you did stay around put i don't even know what to put in the in the comments what should i say all right so i decided to name the rhino iguanas harley and jay because you know i have bonnie and clyde so it'll be like harley and the joker harley quinn and the joker so it's two little criminal couples that's kind of the uh names that i'm going with so you guys are the only ones that know that so put i love harley and jay or something in the comment section so that I know that you guys watch the whole videos and yeah, have a great day.